Uh, Jiu-Jitsu is sometimes a place that parents will put children to help them with bullying. Not knowing what to do or how to protect yourself or where the boundaries are uh, can lead to a lot of problems. I see a recurring problem with children and people that are in self-defense situations uh, that they don't know how to set boundaries. Someone raise your hand and tell me what a boundary is. Lincoln. When you stop, like you don't go over the line. You don't go over the line. Is there an actual line? No. 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 Let's hear it, Mr. Liam. Like a, like a limit. Anyone else have anything? Mr. Sammy. A personal space. Personal space. I love it. I love it, hands down. Those are most of the answers that I like to hear. What's important that you know from me is that you are responsible for setting your boundaries. It is important for you to tell someone what they can and cannot do. And at Jiu Jitsu, there's this recurring theme, which is control. I say, be in control of your body, have good personal space. Being in control of your body includes a number of different things and people jump right to being physical. Now, some of you have dealt with bullies before. I would venture that all of you have had conversations about bullying in your school. Will someone raise their hand and tell me, what is the first step when someone is bullying you? Mr. John. Now, that is an example of what bullying is, but what's the first thing you should do when you experience some bullying? Let's hear it, Ms. Page. Um, you should go talk to a teacher, a parent, or another There we go. I love it. That is the most common response. Tell someone. And that is wrong. It is 100% wrong. The first step in stopping bullying is telling everyone, not someone. So I'm going to give you an example. Mr. Jordan, come here. All right, this is totally out of character for Mr. Jordan, but I want you to do some version of bullying me. Stop! <laughs> what are you doing? Get your hands off me! <laughs> right? No, get your hands off me! This is my place. Now have a seat. Awesome. <laughs> what you need to realize is that your voice is an extension of your body. Your voice is the first line of defense. And when someone is looking to pick on you, they are looking for an easy target. They are looking for someone that won't make a scene. And what you need to realize, where it is your job, your responsibility to set a boundary, you are only partially responsible for defending your personal space because you are a child. Who is responsible for protecting you? Mr. Hol um, Hudson. Your mom, that is an example. When you're at school, who is responsible for protecting you? Mr. Ethan. Yourself. Yourself? That was, uh, that's you setting your boundary. And then who? Miss Sadie, the teacher. It is the teacher's job to create a clean and safe learning environment. Clean and safe. I have a teaching degree. I have taught before. And I can tell you that there are two things that very commonly happen. Number one, there's a bullying, bullying incident and the teacher does not know about it because the bully didn't do it in a place or a time when a teacher was present. That's a problem. There should always be a teacher present. When there's a bullying incident, my first question is always, is always, where was the teacher? The second incident, and it happens more than I would like and it makes me unhappy, is that teachers don't do their job. They don't want to deal with the problem of bullying. It is a blight on their day when they think that their main job is to educate you. Educating you is their job, but it is not more important than you being safe. Do you understand that? When you have that instance where we just had with Mr. Jordan, who here heard me tell him to get his hands off me? How many people up front do you think heard me tell him to get my hands, his hands off me? All of them. Everybody in this room and maybe the people in the building next door heard me enforce a line of my personal space. You are not allowed to put your hands in, on me. What that does is it makes it impossible 
for the teacher to not get involved. How can a teacher tell you that they didn't know you were getting bullied when literally everyone in the room heard that? So when you start to get bullied, it is your job and your responsibility to create a boundary, a line. And then it is your job to not tell someone, to tell everyone on the first stance. Mr. Zander, you, you had this help you out, right? Have you had any more issues with that child? No more issues. Stop slapping me! You need to have control of your voice the same way that you have control of your body. And if you have a small voice, you have a small line. Do you understand, ladies and gentlemen? It's your job to create a boundary and enforce it. Now, you're going to need to talk to your parents about how they want you to deal with the next step. But what you're going to find is when you are very clear and in command of your voice the same way that you are of your body in jiu-jitsu, that that line will get crossed less frequently. But that line needs to be made clear to everyone, not just one person. Do you understand, ladies and gentlemen? Then you go talk to the teacher. But more often than not, when you have that experience right there, that you won't have to go talk to the teacher. The teacher will come talk to you. And then you need to be very clear about what's happening. Do you understand, ladies and gentlemen? Very clear. Your, your personal space is yours and no one else's. It is not okay for anyone to put their hands on you. It's not okay for them to say mean things to you. And if you enforce, enforce your personal space with your voice, most of the time you won't need jujitsu. We all on the same page about that? Who do you tell, Sadie? Oh, that's the old way. Nicholas, everyone. Who do you tell, Peyton? Everyone. How do you do it, Henrik? By yelling. By yelling. Yelling, a lot of people think it's about being emotional. It's just volume control. I yell all the time when I'm in jiu-jitsu, and very rarely am I angry. Have you guys ever heard me yell out of anger? No. Never. Just loud voice, ladies and gentlemen. Project yourself. Protect yourself. I might put that on a shirt. Project yourself. Protect yourself. Make sense, ladies and gentlemen? Time to spar. When I say go, if you have a mouthpiece, you're going to put it in. If you need some more, get some more. Let's clap on two. Ready? One, two. One, two.